Hello everyone, welcome back. So just a, a quick live stream. I uh, want to respond to my buddy Randy's um, questions. Um, he's just asked a few questions on uh, his mother's house actually. Um, he's having a few issues with it and with the plastering and done. Obviously that's why it's about old walls, damp walls and damp scenes, etc. Um so just wanted to to give him a response because he, he's went into a bit of detail. He even dropped me me videos showing me them and stuff. And he's just wanted a wee bit of advice. Um that way. Um just wanted to I thought it'd be a lot easier to to just chat about it other than try and write it all back like um did sort of answer back as well but I told him to do a live stream about it so hopefully he may pop in but if not i'm sure he will catch this video i'll drop a, a link to him as well when the, the videos obviously after it's went live um, oh. so they need to just pull up this, this question um, but basically his building is obviously not the background this background is just me patching it's an older video as well of patching but basically the building is he says is around 100 years old and it's mostly made of concrete so concrete's not a great thing to be plastered over um, can take a quite a bit of preparation um, so there's a bit of work especially a full shuttered concrete wall or if, if it's a big slab made someone else and brought it could be quite a lot of work to keep it bonded so it would be be a fair bit of work from that alone. Um, might try and show you the video we sent as well. Get that up actually. So we all know what I'm talking about here. Um, but like I said, this building's of his, where his mother lives is 100 years old and it's mostly made of concrete um, so they've had leaks above and possible leaks in his wall as well but the leaks above have came from the sink up above the fella living up above and his sinks leaked somewhere or another and obviously water will find its own course and the water's finding its way onto his ceiling Actually, funny enough, um, I sort of did a job for a guy. I say sort of because it's a bit of a long story, but I removed all the, the damp stuff for him. Um, but I'll not go into too much details on that one. Um, but again, his problem as well, this was apartments and the apartment up above him, the fellow's shower was leaking, causing the same sorts of issues. Um, obviously, water is bad for plaster for an interior plaster too much water and it'll just turn back to a soft form what's up guys Um, so yeah so he, he's he's described it as that basically with this leak ongoing that this leak ongoing that uh, the plaster has softened and his paint's all sagging and thank you Andrew, thank you Oh, 
have, a, have a good day, my friend. Um, actually, if I tired, I'm ready for bed soon, myself. Um, but yeah, so back to he, he's described the plaster as getting soft. Uh, basically, sounds like it's turning mushy again, and the paint's all sagging on him. That's what will happen. Paint will bubble and pop off and peel off when it's wet. Um, it'll repel back off the plaster. And then the plaster will also repel off its its undercoats and stuff. Um, and so forward it will crumble. It'll turn very soft. And also, even if it dries out again, it could still pop. Because um, the bond might be lost between the final coat and the undercoat or even the plasterboard so it's all sort of things to, to consider as well um, but basically he's asked me what I would do he's wanting my advice I think he's had some other plasters and he's not been happy with the way they've went about looking and assessing the job even and even prepping it and I think he hits all the nails in the head I think Randy, Randy's not a stupid guy he sort of knows what's going on um, he knows he'll not pull the wool over his eyes, um, and he he has an understanding of what 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 way he if he was a plaster himself what way he would possibly go about the job, and a lot of plastering is also just common sense as well. Um, much of it you will have to learn, um, but some things are still common sense. Um, I'm sure when when I'm looking at a job and I'm describing to customers and clients, builders even, um, I'm describing to them what way I'm going to go about a job and how I'm going to fix it, what materials and why I pick them materials and why I won't, maybe wouldn't use certain other materials. I'm sure they get the idea of, you know, even in their own mind, how, why that's going to work. I think I can explain it of why it's going to work. Um, I think they understand what, what way I'm going about it. So... I think Randy knows the crack that way, he knows, in his own mind, he knows what makes sense to him and what doesn't. Um, but I don't want to not get into too much of what the other plasters were saying and doing, because um, everybody does have their own ways of doing things as well. It um, doesn't mean they're always wrong or they're right. But anyway, so he's asked me what what I would do if it was my job. Um, so basically... What I would do if I came in and I'm assessing the job, and, and I can see from the video we sent, I'll try and get it on here later on when I, when I just talk through these points. Um, but what I would do, I've said this in many other videos with some damp problems and even patches. One, I would take off all flaky paint, all flaky and loose plaster. Anything that's very, very damp, I'd probably cut it away. I would take everything away that's loose, crumbly um, all affected by the the damage damage from the water um, it will all be removed cut well cover up first obviously um, cover up the place just hack, hack off everything that's loose back um, and then obviously if it's soaking wet I would I would let it dry out this is all assuming as well that the water problem has has been cured there's no point fixing there's no point patching something in if it's going to reoccur because you'll only end up with a bigger mess um, and my mate Randy there's no point in him paying plasters to do it when it's still damp um, and obviously the guys probably probably won't do it anyway um, so what I would do is strip it back if I'm, I'm, I'm happy a plumber has went, fixed the leaks and that, I'll get on. The, he has other pipe issues in the walls, but I'll just talk about the sort of ceiling. I would take it all back till it's loose. I'm not sure if it's the ceiling's plasterboard or it's a concrete sort of ceiling. Um, not 100% sure which, which it is. I sort of assumed that it was concrete. Um, but he said something about plasterboard. So if it's plasterboard, that's easier because concrete may take longer to dry out or if it's a pla studded down ceiling and it's plasterboard you could rip all the plasterboard out and make sure your joists aren't rotted and um, things like that too check the timbers 
if they're too wet don't don't just plaster wood straight over them give them time to dry so we're talking about covering up ripping out all the old and flaky plain plaster anything loose must go um, and then let, let's fast forward so we've done that it's still wet let's just pretend it's still wet um, the next thing will be then that I'm gonna let it dry out I'm not gonna go straight over it I'm gonna let it dry out I'm gonna keep the windows open put the heating up a bit low just let it dry out a bit natural and um, obviously we're coming into colder weather so drying, drying times will be affected by that so it will definitely take time um, he was asking me how long does concrete dry out um, that that's going to be very difficult to, to answer obviously because you would need to know how thick it is and how wide did the water go all, all sorts of questions and how much water was on it um, but there is wee ways to maybe know how it's dry as well there's although some people think these um, damp meter readings don't work but I'm sure I'm sure some of them work um, but then you might not want to buy buy one of them um, but there's other wee things you could tr try on the concrete possibly not so much the ceiling but <clears throat> you can try sorts of things of if you did pour a tiny wee hole in it and you collected dust in your hand and the dust that came out of the concrete say if you can sort of bind it if it sticks together it's still wet but if it just if it's just dry dry dust then you know it's completely dry right through but then you might not want to be drilling holes all the way through a concrete ceiling but I'm talking about three mil hole just not even that deep you don't need to go so deep and um, but if you if in doubt you think it's still wet just let, let it dry a bit longer as obviously you're going to want to have the, the best fix possible you know want you don't want to batch it up not really I know I know that yourself you don't want to just just go ahead and batch it up um, so you want it done right so that's the way I would go about it obviously everything must be dry first um, before you start adding on to it otherwise you, you could be just making your coats come void um, I'm going to assume that the scene is plasterboard so you could just plaster it again skim it um, but similar to the videos I've launched recently there um, how to skim coat a ceiling and this the video after that was me channeling up so it'll be very similar method that you're going to go about fixing that but previous to them as well there was an overboarding ceiling but it would be just the exact same with joists even easier because you can you can see where you're you're screwing to you're not having to go up above or anything if there is joists if it is just a concrete ceiling there's probably like a bond coat and then a skim coat over it so obviously that would all need stripped off and when your concrete's dry you'll probably have to prime it up um, some kind of I think in America they call it the plaster weld a bit like what I'm doing on these bricks here in the background it's a like a diesel of a PVA a glue a sealer um, something to slow down suction and hopefully give you a bit of a chemical bond as well there is also grits you can paint on that will give you a mechanical key um, so obviously you're not going to want to really score into the concrete too much so you can maybe paint on some of this blue grit onto the concrete to give you a good good bond obviously the ceiling hasn't fell off so much that I'm worried that the concrete's got grease or anything on it and it's 100 years old so I know that the plaster beforehand has done a great job as his job has well outlived himself unless he's over 100 years old um, so that's that's sort of the way I go about that job now he also talks about another point that you wanted to be separate um, he talks about obviously the building's quite old it's 100 years plus and he's talking about all the, the pipe work has kind of started to corrode all around the building and in one of the walls below the ceiling he's there's a bit of brown <coughs> pardon me and he thinks that <coughs> that it's due to the pipe corroding and um, seeping through the wall so there's, there's, you know obviously I don't know I need to be physically there and check it myself um, but <clears throat> there's a couple of points I'll just have to talk about because this is I'm talking in theory because I'm not there I don't know 
I don't know for a fact, so I'll have to just talk in theory. And obviously, I'm talking about a video um, that he sent. So in theory, let's I'll talk about let's just say the pipes are leaking, and that's why they're crooning. So you would have to dig out around the pipes carefully, because you're not going to want to burst them further. You might want to shut them off. Um, hopefully they're pipes to do with your apartment and not main pipes that go all the way up to fill a tank at the top of this building, this block, which would be an absolute nightmare. But again, a plumber should know, might know, I don't know, it sounds like a tricky one that. Um, but if they're leaking pipes, I would recommend digging them out and repairing the pipes. I don't know if the whole building would need repaired that way. Um, but that that's that theory. I would repair the pipes, let the wall dry up again, and patch it in or patch up the pipes and replaster right through. So that's one theory of if they're busted, if they're leaking. The other theory of mine could be that they're crudin because when pipes are in a wall, they're normally tracked in. So they're tracked in about three inches, four inches, maybe not, probably not even as deep as that, but they're tracked in and they're plastered over, right? So we're talking about water coming through the ceiling. That water will find this cav this bit of a cavity of a track and it will naturally flow down them pipes, which could be bringing dirt, other bits of sediment down around any wee gaps around this pipe and then it's coming back through the wall. But it also, like he said, it could be the pipe crudin, which is also bringing stains through the wall. But this could be a good thing as well because that could mean that this corrosion and staining is only happening because of the leak above and that these pipes aren't actually leaking. Um, I think some plumbers have like a leak detection thing and they can listen for leaks in the building. I'm not really sure how it works, but I've, I've heard about these things. Um, so that, that could be a good scenario. My phone's ringing, I'm going to have to jump off soon, but that could be a good scenario. Um, on that fact, um, that it is just coming down, it's just flowing down. Imagine a river; it's gonna find the it's, water. Will find the easiest point out, and down the back of the pipe would be the easiest point out for it. Um, so that could be what's happening with that stain. But again, stained damp walls, even if they dry out, water stains you can't always just paint over them because they'll come back through. I think you can use stain blockers, but I, I've also heard that they, you know, the stain will come through after years to come. So you might need to remove any affected plaster and replaster anyway. Um, and then you might be able to give your pipes a bit of lagging or a wee bit of a coating or something, some kind of metal coating that can protect them. But look into that again because I'm obviously I'm not a plumber, so I can't really talk too much about that because I'm not qualified that way um, but so that that's that scenario um, um, I think I think I've actually covered both them scenarios and um, the crudded fix fix I think I think I've basically covered covered all that um, on fixing them pipes but hopefully Randy I'm helping you out here with this um, the rest of the room actually looked quite nice on the video that you sent me, the, the tiling and stuff. So hopefully the water damage is actually starting to dry out. Um, you know, you can can use dehumidifiers, but I would recommend you don't because they could probably cause just as much damage as well, soaking out different moistures in other places and causing other problems. Um, but again, if you have to do it, it's winter time. It's definitely slower drying, although we've had decent weather as as of today and the other day. It's been pretty good. Um, oh, that's that's the other one with the pipes. Um, it could be condensation. If if it's a cold pipe and the room's warm, you can maybe get a bit of condensation causing the dampness there. Um, or if it's there's a hot wet, hot pipe and a cold pipe close together. It could be creating condensation also coming through your wall in the form of water and steam and that's what you're seeing um, but yeah just wanted to, to give you that that's the way i would go about the job 
I'll just run through it quickly before I scooch off. So basically, I would strip off all the the damp and affected area, um, and you could do this yourself. You don't you don't necessarily need a plaster to do this. Um, basically, anything that's damp, water stained, and affected, cut it back. Obviously, cover everything up. Trying to be as clean as you can, and the more you cover up, the easier it is to clean up later on. Um, so take off everything loose. If there's plasterboard there, it's going to be wrecked. It's going to be ruined anyway, so it will need to come away. You might save yourself a few pounds if you can strip it away yourself. Um, and strip away as much as you can. Anything loose, damp, bubbly paint, I would, all, I would take it all off. Um, once it dries out, then it can be plastered and fixed then, plasterboard and fixed. Um, and again, on the pipe issue... Um, if it's not getting any worse, you'll know yourself the pipes probably aren't leaking. But if it's getting worse, then they may be leaking. But you may want to get a plumber just to, to check and see if you can use his wee listening device to see what, what's the story there. And I, I, of course, I don't really know what the crack is with insurances and stuff. Obviously, if I was doing this job, the guy up above has caused this leak, so he would technically be paying me with his insurance. Um, but again, don't want to go into all that too much because it's obviously you're in you're in the states, so it's things are maybe different there um, than they are here. Um, but hopefully, I've given you a wee bit more information. Um, it seems to me that you were or already on track. You, you your common sense had it all down to a T, and to me, you're you're doing the right things, you know. Um, and of course, the plasters that do come out, there's nothing wrong with asking them questions. They, they should be able to answer. Um, but thanks a lot, guys, for watching. And I'll have hopefully I'll have another live stream coming up very soon. I have a a really good one coming up with all about refining tools and stuff. Hello, Sandy. How's it going? Um. So <clears throat> my voice is going worse and worse here. And working around a lot of dust. Um, not much, Sandy. Was just doing a. A quick response from my buddy Randy. Um, actually, oh cork, very good. I heard there's there's oil in cork at the minute. Were you down pumping the oil out of the ground or what? But I hear that I found a lot of oil in cork. Um, so there's oil in cork and there's going to be a gold mine um, in Fermanagh. So. Ireland could be getting very rich in the future. So anybody else watching wants to invest in Ireland, that could be a, a good idea. I was singing for oil. <laughs> um, how did that go? I know you're a good singer, but you should have been singing for coin instead. Some euros. <laughs> but, yeah, guys, thanks, thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to have to go to bed. I need, I need a good early night. So I'll do at the minute. Um, came fast. Well done. Yeah, guys. Um, anybody's wanting to watch some musical videos? Sandy C. Does lots of singing. Um, and some... I think she, she does a lot of singing of songs that are other people's songs as well. So if you're interested check out her channel um, and hopefully anybody watching this later on if you just have questions or want to add what's up Don Roberts buddy um, and you just want to add to it um, feel free um, but yeah it's time popping off here now guys um, but definitely keep an eye open for the next one the next live stream is going to be it's going to be better it's going to be much, much better.